The daughter of famed poet Lord Byron, Augusta Ada Byron, Countess of Lovelace better known as Ada Lovelace, showed her gift for mathematics at an early age. She translated an article on an invention by Charles Babbage and added her own comments. Because she introduced many computer concepts, Lovelace is considered the first computer programmer. Ada Lovelace, born as Augusta Ada Byron on December 10, 1815, was the only legitimate child of the famous poet Lord George Gordon Byron. Lord Byron's marriage to Lovelace's mother, Lady Anne Isabella Mulbanke Byron, was not a happy one. Lady Byron separated from her husband only weeks after their daughter was born. A few months later, Lord Byron left England, and Lovelace never saw her father again. He died in Greece when Ada was eight years old. Her mother was the only significant parental figure in her life. Lovelace was not shown the family portrait of her father until her 20th birthday. Lovelace did not have a close relationship with her mother. She was often left in the care of her maternal grandmother Judith, Han, Lady Mulbanke, who doted on her. However, because of societal attitudes of the time which favored the husband in any separation, with the welfare of any child acting as mitigation Lady Byron had to present herself as a loving mother to the rest of society. Lovelace was often ill, beginning in early childhood. At the age of eight, she experienced headaches that obscured her vision. In June 1829, she was paralyzed after a bout of measles. She was subjected to continuous bed rest for nearly a year, something which may have extended her period of disability. By 1831, she was able to walk with crutches. Despite the illnesses, she developed her mathematical and technological skills. When Ada was 12 years old, this future lady fairy, as Charles Babbage affectionately called her, decided she wanted to fly. Ada Byron went about the project methodically, thoughtfully, with imagination and passion. Her first step, in February 1828, was to construct wings. She investigated different material and sizes. She considered various materials for the wings. Paper, oil silk, wires, and feathers. She examined the anatomy of birds to determine the right proportion between the wings and the body. She decided to write a book, Flyology, illustrating, with plates, some of her findings. She decided what equipment she would need, for example, a compass, to cut across the country by the most direct road, so that she could surmount mountains, rivers, and valleys. Her final step was to integrate steam with the art of flying. From 1832, when she was 17, her mathematical abilities began to emerge, and her interest in mathematics dominated the majority of her adult life. Her mother's obsession with rooting out any of the insanity of which she accused Byron was one of the reasons that Ada was taught mathematics from an early age. She was privately educated in mathematics and science by William Friend, William King, and Mary Somerville, the noted 19th-century researcher and scientific author. In the 1840s, the mathematician Augustus de Morgan extended her much help in her mathematical studies, including study of advanced calculus topics, including the numbers of Bernoulli, that formed her celebrated algorithm for Babbage's analytical engine. In a letter to Lady Byron, de Morgan suggested that Ada's skill in mathematics might lead her to become an original mathematical investigator, perhaps of first-rate eminence. Throughout her life, Lovelace was strongly interested in scientific developments and fads of the day, including phrenology and mesmerism. After her work with Babbage, Lovelace continued to work on other projects. In 1844, she commented to a friend Waronzo Grieg about her desire to create a mathematical model for how the brain gives rise to thoughts and nerves to feelings, a calculus of the nervous system. She never achieved this, however. In part, her interest in the brain came from a long-running preoccupation, inherited from her mother, about her potential madness. As part of her research into this project, she visited the electrical engineer Andrew Cross in 1844 to learn how to carry out electrical experiments. In the same year, she wrote a review of a paper by Baron Karl von Reichenbach, Researches on Magnetism, but this was not published and does not appear to have progressed past the first draft in 1851, the year before her cancer struck, she wrote to her mother, mentioning certain productions she was working on regarding the relation of maths and music. Lovelace first met Charles Babbage in June 1833, through their mutual friend Mary Somerville. Later that month, Babbage invited Lovelace to see the prototype for his difference engine. 58 She became fascinated with the machine and used her relationship with Somerville to visit Babbage as often as she could. Babbage was impressed by Lovelace's intellect and analytic skills. He called her the Enchantress of Number. In 1843, he wrote to her, Forget this world and all its troubles and if possible, its multitudinous charlatans everything in short, but the Enchantress of Number. 
During a nine-month period in 1842-43, Lovelace translated the Italian mathematician Luigi Manabria's article on Babbage's newest proposed machine, the analytical engine.60 with the article, she appended a set of notes. Explaining the analytical engine's function was a difficult task, many other scientists did not grasp the concept, and the British establishment had shown little interest in it. Lovelace's notes even had to explain how the analytical engine differed from the original difference engine. Her work was well received at the time, the scientist Michael Faraday described himself as a supporter of her writing. The notes are around three times longer than the article itself and include, in note G, in complete detail, a method for calculating a sequence of Bernoulli numbers using the analytical engine, which might have run correctly had it ever been built, only Babbage's difference engine has been built, completed in London in 2002. Based on this work, Lovelace is now considered by many to be the first computer programmer, and her method has been called the world's first computer program. Others dispute this because some of Charles Babbage's earlier writings could be considered computer programs. Note G also contains Lovelace's dismissal of artificial intelligence. She wrote that, the analytical engine has no pretensions whatever to originate anything. It can do whatever we know how to order it to perform. It can follow analysis, but it has no power of anticipating any analytical relations or truths. This objection has been the subject of much debate and rebuttal, for example by Alan Turing in his paper Computing Machinery and Intelligence, most modern computer scientists argue that this view is outdated and that computer software can develop in ways that cannot necessarily be anticipated by programmers. Lovelace and Babbage had a minor falling out when the papers were published, when he tried to leave his own statement, criticizing the government's treatment of his engine as an unsigned preface, which could have been mistakenly interpreted as a joint declaration. When Taylor's scientific memoirs ruled that the statement should be signed, Babbage wrote to Lovelace asking her to withdraw the paper. This was the first that she knew he was leaving it unsigned, and she wrote back refusing to withdraw the paper. The historian Benjamin Woolley theorized that his actions suggested he had so enthusiastically sought Ada's involvement and so happily indulged her because of her celebrated name. Their friendship recovered, and they continued to correspond. On 12 August 1851, when she was dying of cancer, Lovelace wrote to him asking him to be her executor, though this letter did not give him the necessary legal authority. Part of the terrace at Worthy Manor was known as Philosopher's Walk, it was there that Lovelace and Babbage were reputed to have walked while discussing mathematical principles. In 1840, Babbage was invited to give a seminar at the University of Turin about his analytical engine. Luigi Manabria, a young Italian engineer and the future Prime Minister of Italy, transcribed Babbage's lecture into French, and this transcript was subsequently published in the Bibliothèque Universelle de Genève in October 1842. Babbage's friend Charles Wheatstone commissioned Ada Lovelace to translate Manabria's paper into English. She then augmented the paper with notes, which were added to the translation. Ada Lovelace spent the better part of a year doing this, assisted with input from Babbage. These notes, which are more extensive than Manabria's paper, were then published in the September 1843 edition of Taylor's Scientific Memoirs under the initialism all. Ada Lovelace's notes were labeled alphabetically from A to G. In Note G, she describes an algorithm for the analytical engine to compute Bernoulli numbers. It is considered to be the first published algorithm ever specifically tailored for implementation on a computer, and Ada Lovelace has often been cited as the first computer programmer for this reason. The engine was never completed so her program was never tested. In 1953, more than a century after her death, Ada Lovelace's notes on Babbage's analytical engine were republished as an appendix to B. V. Bowden's Faster Than Thought, a symposium on digital computing machines. The engine has now been recognized as an early model for a computer, and her notes as a description of a computer and software. Death. Lovelace died at the age of 36 on 27 November 1852, from uterine cancer. The illness lasted several months, in which time Annabella took command over who Ada saw and excluded all of her friends and confidants. Under her mother's influence, Ada had a religious transformation and was coaxed into repenting of her previous conduct and making Annabella her executor. She lost contact with her husband after confessing something to him on 30 August, which caused him to abandon her bedside. It is not known what she told him. She was buried, at a request, next to her father at the Church of St. Mary Magdalene in Hucknall, Nottinghamshire. A memorial plaque, written in Latin, to her and her father is in the chapel attached to Horsley Towers the computer language Ada, created on behalf of the United States Department of Defense, was named after Lovelace.108 The reference manual for the language was approved on 10 December 1980, 
and the Department of Defense Military Standard for the Language, MIL STD 1815, was given the number of the year of her birth. In 1981, the Association for Women in Computing inaugurated its Ada Lovelace Award. Since 1998, the British Computer Society, BCS, has awarded the Lovelace Medal and in 2008 initiated an annual competition for women students. Xwoman sponsors the Lovelace Colloquium, an annual conference for women undergraduates. Ada College is a further education college in Tottenham Hale, London, focused on digital skills. Ada Lovelace Day is an annual event celebrated on the second Tuesday of October, which began in 2009. Its goal is to raise the profile of women in science, technology, engineering, and maths, and to create new role models for girls and women in these fields. Events have included Wikipedia edit-a-thons with the aim of improving the representation of women on Wikipedia in terms of articles and editors to reduce unintended gender bias on Wikipedia. The Ada Initiative was a non-profit organization dedicated to increasing the involvement of women in the free culture and open source movements. The Engineering in Computer Science and Telecommunications College building in Zaragoza University is called the Ada Byron Building. The computer center in the village of Porlock, near where Lovelace lived, is named after her. Ada Lovelace House is a council-owned building in Kirkby and Ashfield, Nottinghamshire, near where Lovelace spent her infancy. In 2012, a Google Doodle and blog post honored her on her birthday. In 2013, Ada Developers Academy was founded and named after her. The mission of Ada Developers Academy is to diversify tech by providing women and gender diverse people the skills, experience, and community support to become professional software developers to change the face of tech. On 17 September 2013, an episode of Great Lives about Ada Lovelace aired. As of November 2015, all new British passports have included an illustration of Lovelace and Babbage. In 2017, a Google Doodle honored her with other women on International Women's Day. On 2 February 2018, Satellogic, a high-resolution Earth observation imaging and analytics company, launched a NUSIT-type micro-satellite named in honor of Ada Lovelace. In March 2018, the New York Times published a belated obituary for Ada Lovelace. On 27 July 2018, Senator Ron Wyden submitted, in the United States Senate, the designation of 9 October 2018 as National Ada Lovelace Day, to honor the life and contributions of Ada Lovelace as a leading woman in science and mathematics. The resolution was considered and agreed to without amendment and with a preamble by unanimous consent. In November 2020 it was announced that Trinity College Dublin whose library had previously held 40 busts, all of them of men, was commissioning four new busts of women, one of whom was to be Lovelace. In March 2022, a statue of Ada Lovelace was installed at the site of the former Egrin House in the city of Westminster, London, honoring its scientific history. The statue was sculpted by Eddie N. and Mary Milner and based on the portrait by Margaret Sarah Carpenter. The sculpture was unveiled on International Women's Day, 2022. It stands on the seventh floor of Millbank Quarter overlooking the junction of Dean Bradley Street and Horse Ferry Road.